folks, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here in our challenging parks. We only have a few left, and I've had a great time going through all of these so far. Uh, brought back a lot of memories, uh, except for this one, which I, again, have no real memory of. But we're going to be here today at Pacific Pyramids. Uh, we convert an Egyptian ruins, uh, the Egyptian ruin tourist attraction into a thriving park. We need to have a thousand guests in our park at the end of October year four with a park rating of at least 600. Uh, so I do remember this one, mainly because one, uh, we have a whole bunch of land that is flat minus this area. Uh, and then we also have these things which are built in money for us. So we can actually really kind of go bananas with a lot of this here. Uh, I'm going to start off by not doing any of the stuff I normally do. Uh, I'm going to go through and just delete a whole bunch of paths that I don't want. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of all of these guys which are worth 300 bucks a pop. Uh, and we're going to kind of just try to maximize our cash flow at this point And then we'll go forward and see what we have there. Uh, it does go underground, and where does it go underground to? See, like, this is an unnecessary path that causes people lots of problems, and then it comes out all the way over here. So we're just going to get rid of all of that. Um, there's going to be a lot of clicking here for a little bit, I apologize, uh, but I just want to make sure we can kind of get this park set up on the right foot without having to worry about uh, guests getting lost and unhappy because they're lost, because... I don't know. Uh, it sounds like a reasonable expectation for a guest not to get lost in their amusement park. Uh, and uh, we're going to do our best to make sure we satisfy that particular need of our guest. Uh, so we're going to keep going through here, just getting rid of all of this stuff. I don't really particularly care about the kind of the spirit of the level <laughs> as far as uh, we should be trying to go through and do all this. I just want to make a cool park. Uh, and luckily for us, this park has so much cool different stuff in there. Uh, so I'm just going to go to clear scenery, let us sell all of that stuff. So we're making nice amounts of money for all of this. Uh, and this is really the first time we've really seen a lot of the other theming elements, uh, like the Egyptian theme. I don't think we've really seen it all yet. Uh, but you can see we have a large area of flat land that we're going to be able to experiment with and play with and kind of see exactly what we can do. So we cleared out almost $5,000 right out of the gate with all of that. Let's take a look at our finances here. Uh, let's see what our max loan is. So we have another $10,000 of buffer on there. So we really have uh, $15,000 more dollars above our original 10 that we have. Uh, we have a monorail, which we haven't really seen much of. Uh, we have our basic level flat rides or, uh, excuse me, channel rides. We have our roller coasters, which not bad. That's, I mean, I, again, I'm not a big fan of the spinning wild mouse and I don't care for steeple chases either. Uh, we need better thrill rides, we need better water rides, and we do have a full complement of stuff there. So let's go in here, we get rid of that, that, and we're going to keep the water rides. I don't think we need general rides right now, we will get those soon enough. Uh, but let's go in and build out our first path segments and see what's going on. I think I'm going to go with this darker one, which I don't believe was part of the original game. Uh, I think this is a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 thing, but that's fine. We'll deal, and we'll see exactly what's going on there. So let's... Uh, we're just going to open the park up here with some nice stuff right out of the gate. Nothing too crazy. And uh, we're just going to try to build this park up to be something a little more than what it currently is, which <laughs> is nothing. Uh, let's go in here. We'll get some bathrooms put on. Uh, let's rotate it that way to try to keep it off the main path. And the same with our food stuff. We're going to keep it over that way. And we need to make our two dollars. So we'll do that. Get the icy fruit, the burgers. And then we also have our drink stalls. Cool. Now these are things we probably don't need right out of the gate. Uh, I like building these on there because oftentimes uh, when you're playing the game, uh, you can kind of forget to take care of that stuff and then you're out of money and you have a whole bunch of people who are really mad because they don't have a place to do what they want to do. So I like to kind of just put those in right out of the gate just to try to satisfy any of those problems. And oops, I forgot to open the park itself. That'd probably be helpful. So we'll do that. Sorry, my dude. Uh, oh, you're, you're going away with some money too. Okay, that's a bummer. Uh, <laughs> see what else we want. Uh, go with a quote unquote thrill ride. Let's see, we'll put that there, that goes there, oh, hold on, that goes there, that goes there, okay. 
that needs to get painted because it's terrible. Let's go with the blue one and the white. Do we want to go with the lighter blue? Yeah, that looks fine. Dollar. Cool. Open that bad boy up. So we'll do that. That in place. All right. We have a very basic setup here. Uh, I'm also going to build a really quick shuttle loop in here. And again, the main reason for that is just to try to get some income going into the park uh, and have it kind of do the base stuff of what I want out of the amusement park, which are some fun thrill rides, but nothing too crazy. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, and it should be able to come up here. One, two, three. Ooh, I don't think I made that in the right spot. Oh, thank God I can buy that spot. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Oh, wow, we can purchase a lot of land in this park. Whoa, goodness, we don't even have to get onto this hill at all, which I think we're going to build a bobsled coaster in that area. Uh, but we, we have some really solid options for how we can treat this park overall. All right, so uh, we're just going to call this Looper. Because, again, I am the most creative person when it comes to names for this stuff. Um, I think there's going to be an orange kind of cut, right? So dark orange, dark orange. And we'll make that white. And I don't like the dark orange. Maybe light orange and light orange. There we go. That looks better. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into, what is it? Reverse incline shuttle mode. Speed that up. We'll test and we'll paint. White, white, and... No, that doesn't work. We'll just do white. That looks fine. It's going to be about a $5 ride, I think. Maybe a $4 ride. We'll see. Alright, we have that part set up. Let's see. The medium, no, it's not going to be able to cost $5, but we can... Knock that down to four bucks, not a problem. Or we could have it do two loops. Yeah, let's do it two circuits, that sounds better. That should help our rating out with that ride. Do that, let's go with yellow this time. There we go. I'm happy with all that. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Trash can, trash can, trash can. Let's see, do we have our results in yet? We're just about ready to get them. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's go in and hire some handyman, mechanic, some security staff. We got a log flume, which is awesome. That's gonna go on here for sure. Uh, but that's definitely a, a ride that we wanna have in this park. If you take a look, we haven't, we've only spent barely more than what we started with. Uh, we, we have, we've done a good job of uh, budgeting and keeping all the stuff in here um, for what we need to have. So I'm pretty excited about that. And hopefully we'll uh, be able to see what this ride does for us here in just a second. There we go. Okay, it should, it should come in the station now and we should know exactly what it is and what it is and isn't going to do. There we go. Perfect. So open that one up. We have some more room here for shops and stuff if we want it. I don't think we're going to go there yet, but we are going to go in here and turn off water rides. So thrill rides, gentle rides, and we'll throw on roller coasters too, just in case. But really what we had, this log flume is what I wanted uh, out of that whole thing. So we could make a station over here, have it go up and through this area, then come back down. I think that sounds like a plan. So we're going to do that. So we'll just have it go out. And I'm going to try to make this look a little bit more like it was meant to be here. There's absolutely no re reason to actually do this. But I think it just looks slightly nicer. I'm just going to dive down there, do a little splashy splash, 
come around and then it's going to go up. There we go. Again, this is not meant... The, I've, I've talked about the distinction that I make between amusement park and theme park. This one is definitely an amusement park. Nothing about this is going to be super, super entertaining or kind of classic theme park. This is an amusement park and that's done with a purpose, but like I would not be thrilled about this ride overall if this was uh, a park that I really cared about deeply as far as kind of getting it set up in the base level. But I do dig where we're at with all this. So then we can come out here. Guess we could drop down again. Have a loop in here. It's right there, so it needs to come over a little bit more. Hmm, that's not what I want to do. So we'll have it come up like that. We'll do that. All right, we'll deal with the rock. Ooh, nope, not that one. Okay. So I think we need to have this bump over to the right here. There we go. And the only other thing I want to do is, well, let me get that done. Let's fix this a little bit. Okay, that looks good. We'll put the sand kind of looking stuff on there. All right, that looks good or better. Again, this area doesn't look the best, but that's okay. And I think the only other thing I'm gonna do is put a uh, on-ride photo there because I wanna make a little bit more money. All right, so I could put an entrance here. Let's just do it on this side. Although I'm kind of intrigued about that idea of going, I can't go up or over there, that's a problem. All right, so it's gonna go there, the exit's gonna go there. Go in, let's test her up and see what happens. Obviously we have to use blue. There we go, let's see. My simple little line, but it works. Uh, we don't have to do that, just leave another boat comes. And it's probably gonna be a $4 ride or so. Now, we don't have crazy numbers of people in the park. We're up to about 200, um, and most of them aren't really. We have a lot of people in line for this. Looper, which only has a two minute line, so I'm not worried about that. What kind of money is this one making? Yeah, it's making us money. All right, and research-wise, what we got going on here? Mini suspended coaster, not what I was looking for. So we're gonna turn off everything except for thrill rides and hopefully we can get that going a little better here. Our first log flume car. It's going through there. should be just about done here. All right, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. So let 
let's see. That was a 2 minute and 20 second ride. 27 seconds, so... 120 plus 27. Divided by 13. It's 11 seconds. So we're going to make that 10. And the maximum wait time is going to be 12. And we should be able to open that up, and we should have a capacity monster on hand for us. Look at all the people already flocking to it. This is a beautiful thing. Uh, I will put another bathroom down this way. Not that we need it, but just that I want to make sure we have excess in that area. And the roller coaster that we got is a mini suspended flying. Like, it's cool. It's, it can be cool, but it's not a thrilling ride. Not like something that I want to have in this park. Uh, I think we're going to build another flat ride back in this area. I'm going to leave this pathway open in case we want to expand out that way. So we'll leave all of that there. And we'll get that going like so. And then... There we go. Okay. And we can open that up. And what we can also do is if we want to go with little theming stuff, we can go in here and say, hey, look, you are in a park that uh, was made for this. <laughs> is it cheating and is it disingenuous? Absolutely. Do I care? Absolutely not. Uh, do we have the ability to do anything? There's a no entrance. Whoa. I don't like that at all. wooden. There we go. That looks okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go with it. And let's see. Do we have any? Yeah, we have some palm trees and stuff that we can throw in for good measure. I kind of want to make this look like a little bit of an oasis. That makes sense. And maybe did I do my math wrong? Oh, it's 23 boats. Oh, I I did my math very wrong. So we need to go back and uh, do it again. So what was it 120 for two minutes plus the 27 is 147 divided by 23. That's 6.3. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering why there's like all these boats waiting there. Now it makes more sense. All right, we should be able to get those people cycled through much quicker now and make good money with it. What is our lines like this? Six minutes? Still golden. What are our people thinking? They're not hungry. They only want something more thrilling on the carousel. I understand that. I'm tired. What's wrong with you? We well, haven't been on anything yet. Go on, go on a ride, my dude. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Our park is drastically increasing in capacity. We're already almost at 300 people, and we really haven't done that much. We have a pirate ship coming our way, which is not really the ride I want to have, but it's okay. It does its job. Let's see, we might have a pathway come out this way. And then something connecting into it like that. Why? I don't know. I just wanted to. Alright. So that looks good. I'm going to go back to normal speed. We should be designing another thrill ride. And this one... I think it's gonna go over here. Entrance and exit. All right, we can just open that up right away. Dollar fifty seems fair to me for that. If we wanna get uh, 
closer to what parks would actually do. We can put some little walls in here. I don't know, does that look reasonable? Sh sure. <laughs> All right, do we have any other plants that scream kind of like desert? Not really. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna paint that one to be a brown instead of uh, that. I'm happy with that. All right, we're doing good. We're still, I mean, we're maintaining our money here. Um, we're spending money, but we're also making plenty of cash. No problem. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is there needs to be a bigger coaster that's more high intensity. Uh, we could easily fit uh, a fizzy over here. Like this is a spot of land that's begging for a coaster. The only thing is I don't want to block this area off because we can expand out. Not that we're going to need to, but just to have the option, uh, I want to kind of leave that as is. Uh, so I think there's going to be a station somewhere around here. We'll have the lift hill go up and then it's going to do its stuff and kind of exist in this weird T kind of shape. If you imagine this being the station area and then we have some area for dipsy doos and up here it's kind of like a T. I think that's what I want to do. Not really too sure. Um, and I don't know what ride I want to do that with quite yet. Uh, it could be a classic coaster, although this area is really good for a classic coaster as well. Um, or it might be another uh, looping coaster. Um, I just want to kind of give ourselves a chance to see what exactly we want to do. But I think this is going to be what I want to do here. So the end of the station is going to be there. Let's see what we got. Seven. Let's make that six. Okay, let's make it. All right, so the exit's going to be there. The entrance will be there. And we're going to paint that just so don't like that it does it every time it's gonna kind of go in and do this that part of it i don't or it puts the covering automatically on it i don't care for that um let's just make sure we avoid this which we do and this is going to be our biggest coaster that we've built in the series i think now this piece here and this piece here are not part of the original game but I'm going to embrace them right now because I like how they look. All right, now we're going to have to borrow some money. So we're going to go out and do stuff like this. So that's, yeah, it's definitely lower. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this height. There's so much space for this ride. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Maybe we'll just have it turn like that. And then just dive away. And again, I don't really have a plan here. I'm just trying to dipsy do in the rides, trying to see what we can do. This is going to be the rest of our cash if I get this done in budget. So I really missed the park architect uh, option where you can kind of see over everything and see what's going on. So let's have this drop and then turn out here. See if that makes life better for us. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I think we're gonna have to redo a lot of this ride. It's just one, it's massive compared to everything else we've built so far. And two, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not digging the setup. Like I love that it's a, a twisty kind of out and back style ride, but it's not what I originally had planned here. So let's reimagine this. And we're gonna try to keep it into a little bit more confined of a space, I think. Actually, let's not even do that. Let's do the boosters. We have boosters, right? We haven't used those at all yet. Well, oh, that's going to be an experience right out of the gate there. And I have no idea how fast this is actually going to go from the get-go, so... I may need to change the speed of that stuff down the road here, but that's a problem for... Future us. All right. So I'm happy with that. So let's have it do this. And I don't know if I want to spend money on clearing out land quite yet, but that's okay. We can do that part. station here in a second put a nice little all right photo section on there have it drop down and I think we're gonna just have this turn like that have it go into some breaks again I have no idea how fast this ride is actually going to be when it uh, gets this point break section it will turn and then we have our block breaks nope those are regular breaks I want block breaks okay especially because we should be able to get two trains yeah because there's no initial break area or block area for the launch spot so let's test and see what happens with train one it only gets up to 38 miles an hour which is not going to be enough so we're going to have to close that down I like the general idea of this ride uh, but we're going to have to just delete it all and reimagine what's going on here so I have an idea but what we had was just not enough and the boosters are not very strong in this game are they Okay, so let's reimagine this. Uh, we have we got go karts already. Cool. Um, let's go in here and do it coming out this way. We got our entrance. We got our exit. We're gonna do the lift hill thing. Let's have it swoop over that. do that and then it's going to dive way down all right i'm happy with how this one's coming together now And what's going to happen here is we'll put an on our photo section there because that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and then this whole spot is going to come up like that. See, this one has come up. We're going to build that up too, I think. And 
And I don't know how much we have to contend with the, uh, we do have to contend with the, uh, log flume, so we have to just pay attention to that. Adjust it. There we go. Hmm. What can I do to get that to be where I want it to be? There we go. And then let's see if it goes into the break run without any problems. I think that will work a little better for us. Alright, uh, let's increase the lift hill speed and let's test it and see what happens with this one. a lot of money on necessarily on some of the stuff but it just makes it look a little bit better so we have that big drop goes under that that looks fun goes through here another big drop goes through there on run photo section just kind of just an s turn basically goes through here comes into the brakes at 40 miles an hour we're gonna call this dune runner cool. this looks like dunes right that's, that, that works as a name. And we can also pay back that loan. Yeah, we finally have a high intensity ride. Okay, awesome. Now it's a minute and nine seconds. So it was 69 seconds. Nice. Divided by two. It's 34 and a half. So this one needs to wait for at least 30. And no more than 35. We need to paint this to be more dune-like. Does a uh, peach, not brown, maybe a beige, does that work? Yeah, it works. All right, and then where's a nicer red? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm digging that. Dark yellow with a black. Dark yellow looks terrible. Hmm. Yellow? Just all yellow trains? Sure. That's fine. And then this needs to cost $5. Alright, we'll open it up. And we'll see how we do with it. I know nobody can get on it yet. That's okay. We will fix that in a moment. cool with that that should be a pretty short line for a ride like that we are already up to 400 something guests and i wasn't really even doing all that much to draw guests or do anything um ride wise for that is only four minutes and that's our long ooh, how long is this line five minutes okay and we can probably knock down some of this stuff so they're a little closer because we can see they're, they're stacking towards the break or towards the station itself so we'll cut down on that this sh new ride should hopefully bring many more people to us. And what are we thinking? Okay, everybody seems pretty chill with what's going on with the park right now, which is exciting. Thrill ride rise. Oh, we got a inverter swing ship as well. We got a car ride. I don't know where I want to put that stuff. There's just room here um, for stuff, and or I could buy land out here and have it wrap in that area. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see, what is it going to cost us to buy up some more land over here? 
And it's so cheap at 15 bucks a pop. That's beautiful. Nope. It's beautiful when you have money. <laughs> Alright, so that's all we need for that. And honestly, that will satisfy that entire ride, I think. So let's bring it back down to normal speed. We'll see what we have here with our car ride. Can we go over the trip that tried? I think we can, right? I love when rides kind of blend themselves together. Oh, we can go through it. Awesome. I don't remember the spinning tunnel at all from the game. I could just be misremembering things, as I often do. So bring that there, then come back down. There we go. I'm going to swap our entrance and exits because we want to make that as quick and painless as possible for people to get to. All right. I think pickup trucks make more sense. We'll do 16 of them. Let's test it. Just everybody head out. And we'll figure out what's going on with this. And we also need to paint this because I don't like what it is right now. This is what I want. There we go. Two, three, boom, ba dum, boom, ba dum. See, we're bringing back some of the elements of the park that were here originally. And this one should have gotten more exciting with the uh, ride around it. Yeah, it's up in the sixes now. It was only a five before. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, it is a minute and 20. So it was 88 seconds divided by a 16. It means five and a half seconds between dismissals. It's going to bring it down to like three. The maximum of... Let's go with six. Wait for a full load and open that bad boy up. And did all that hold? It did. Okay. Uh, we'll probably introduce another food court somewhere back around this area. And some more bathrooms. So one, two, three, four. So we can get a bathroom there. Get our drink stall opened up. That one opened up, and that one opened up as well. You can already see it's working out pretty nicely as far as timing goes with uh, all this. The people are buying this stuff up already, which is beautiful. And this is not a, a nauseating ride, it's still low. I think this is probably the ride that makes people the sickest. No, it's still low. How about this one? Low. How about this one? Low. <laughs> okay. But I mean, what kind of cash is this thing bringing in to us? $12,000 an hour. What's this one doing? 8,000, what's this one doing? 7,000, and it's not running at full capacity yet, but this thing is rocking and rolling. I love log flumes. So we take a look at its guest for hour. It's the capacity is almost 3,000 people an hour. That's, that's insane. I'm very happy with that. How are we doing over here? We got a launch free fall. Oh, that's going to fit in right there really nicely. Let's 
So we'll do that. Exit and our entrance will be there. We're going to go into downward launch mode and we'll test that out and see how intense it actually is for our guest. Hopefully it won't be too bad. And it's just going to be called drop zone because again, I'm very creative. And we'll see how well that does. I kind of, I kind of want that to exist the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna do some construction to kind of lower it down a bit, but I kind of want to leave it where it was. And we'll see what happens with that. We're up to 530 guests. Uh, you can see we have not used a bunch of this park. I mean, we bought a little bit extra land, which we didn't need to do, um, but we're moving along here. And uh, our secondary food court back here is working out wonderfully. So I think a mini coaster is going to go in this area next. Um, we'll just take a look at what we can buy. So we can actually have this area here be set for a secondary path heading out, which we'll deal with later. And what was that last notification? Pirate ship broke down. Okay. We have a motion simulator coming our way, which is great. And just keep bringing this down a little bit by little bit. I don't want people getting sick on it. Mainly, I don't want to have to employ more staff. These guys are doing a great job of keeping our park clean. I could probably hire one more mechanic. Because I have the interval set for inspecting them every 10 minutes, which is a lot. But I'm okay with it. All right, there we go. Highs across the board. It's going to be a $5 ride. And now we can open it. And I think we might do our first advertising spend here. Um, so I'm going to give them free rides. And we're going to do that on, what do we think? I think Dune Runner. I want to get that ride's popularity up. Motion Simulator being a... Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that, of it being a thrill ride. some of our stuff in there. This area here I kind of dig. I like the interaction of all the rides in this area. Not that they're themed, not that they look great or anything, but just that the, there's decent interaction with all those rides. I, I kind of dig. That will open up. What do we have people thinking about this one? Yeah, we... Okay, and we're starting to get a little bit more uh, puke in some of these areas, so we're going to just try to nip that in the bud a little bit. Yeah, I could assign people spots to work, but I don't think that's necessary right now. And uh, I, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to flatten this spot out here. And it looks like our advertising campaign is working beautifully. Are people, what do you got? You guys carrying anything? Or are you just come? Yeah, see, we have a couple of things coming in, but we've built a bunch of rides. Like, so we opened up the car ride, Dune Runner, this ride, and this ride, all within a short span of each other. And you can see now we're not filling this train up as much as what we normally were. We want to make sure that's waiting for a full load. Wait for a full load, but. I think we can. Kind of cut some of the short too. So we've got another thrill ride on the way. Let's open up that up to some more stuff here. And what are people thinking? Dune Runner was great. Log Fume was great. I feel sick. Okay. <laughs> We're doing a decent job with all that stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. 
We don't have go-karts and we don't have a swinging inverter ship yet, so maybe we'll get one of those in place. And turn to an exit. Just gonna build a very simple line for that. Simple line for that. We'll test it. And we'll open that up. And we will also put another bathroom in here. And are people going on this? This is four bucks, right? What are people thinking? Okay, they're fine paying it, so I'm fine charging it. All right, this area here is going to be dedicated to a kiddie coaster of some type. I'm not sure which one I want to go with yet. Uh, it's either going to be the suspended swing or it's going to be the classic mini. But I'm not sure quite yet what I want to go with that. Let's speed this up. We're already just about at 700 guests, which is awesome. Our park rating continues to increase. You can see it's been on an upward trajectory for a while here. We got a top spin, which is probably not the best thing for this park, uh, as our guests seem to have a lower tolerance for nausea, but that's okay. All right, we need to redo some math on this one. There we go. We'll see if that helps us cycle through these guys a little faster. Oh, we still have it in a faster mode. My bad. And let's see now that we're maxing it out. Yeah, it's getting around. It's getting more. But this thing still is killing it. These guys are doing a great job. This, these two rides alone bring us uh, $22,000 an hour. This one over here. It's getting up there. But it's already made us $7,000. How about this? It's also already made us over $7,000. So I'm feeling pretty happy with that stuff. Let's take a look here. See if we can just. I want to stop buying extra land. But what I'm thinking is back here we'll build a go karts. Mainly because we need to spend some money. We need to get people coming into our, continue to get people coming into our park. And a go kart track is a really easy way to do that. going to be super creative with this go-kart track in particular. fine With the exception of our entrance and exit is going to be a hot mess but we'll figure that out okay what we're going to do here i think instead of this is we'll have it go this way and we got the best value park in the country heck yeah we do then we can put our entrance and our exit we're going to close this I'll do construction to it. I'm just going to flip it around to the other side and open that up there. And we'll do the same thing with the burger place. Close that construction, delete it from its current home, and move it over there. And one thing that drives me crazy about go-karts is there's no way to tell how much people like it or don't like it. So you just kind of got to open it, hope and pray. But it's not going to be a super long line for this ride, so we'll open it up. And the other nice thing about that long exit line here is it opens up some more space for additional eating spaces for people. How many cars do we have on that? Twelve, that's decent. Alright, we're almost at 800 guests now. How about you? Did you have a good time? Yeah, you did. You just ran out of money. Good job, man. What about you? You're nauseous, but you also ran out of money. So we're doing something right here. 
All right, in our research area, we got the top spin. We're build building a roller coaster here, so I'm gonna kind of hope to see if we get something bigger out of that roller coaster area. If we don't, we're gonna build the, the mini coaster, an inverted roller coaster. Okay. No, I don't want to kick the key. I want to, I want to build an inverted roller coaster. So we're gonna let that money build up. As we are now officially over 800 guests, we just have another couple days to wait till we get that inverted coaster. And now we can go in there and we can build on our inverted coaster. So, let's see here. Just can't have it be in that spot. All right. So, before we do anything else, I am going to buy up just this because it's bothering me that there's just chunk missing out of there. Something like that. We'll have it drop and turn. It's going to go through a loop. It's going to go left. Come down. Let's go up again. Small half loop. Corkscrew. Right. Corkscrew. Right again. No, left. My bad. Small half loop. photo section there maybe nope not that <laughs> that'd be horrible all right that will come up oh it's actually gonna rain interesting all right we're gonna buy a little bit of land to complete this ride I don't know if the vertical stuff is new. That wasn't a part of the original game, from my remembrance of it. Let's see, I just need to get back to the station. That's not gonna be a path to do so, I don't think. Can I do that? I can do that. It's not pretty, but it works. So then we can run into some brakes. Yeah, I guess I don't need to bring it up so high. How big are our trains here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's test this out now and see what we got. Call this ride Oasis. 
even though there's no water. I'm, I'm planning on putting a little water down here with some maybe some water that shoots up. We'll see. I probably should wait to see the ratings of the ride before I do any of this stuff, but can't help myself. whipping around there and the brakes and then into that okay I don't think we need three trains but we'll take it and let's see we have ferris wheel on the way that's a, that's a solid ride addition for this park all of this at the beginning is wonderful I, li I like that transition through all that stuff. It's very Vacoma uh, SLC. This area is just the only area that's kind of brutal. Uh, if I had the space, I would have probably turned it. Well, I do have the space. I should have turned it around and just had it drop in there, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll deal with all that stuff. I'm cool with all of that. And let's see. Alright, I'm, I'm very happy with how that ride looks overall, so we're going to let it ride. Something like that. Then we can open this bad boy up. And nobody is going to be able to come in there, because that's going to be a hot spot for people who are sick. <laughs> uh, I do want to do the water feature thing that I had. Where was it? There they are, okay. Got a Ferris wheel, which is going to be a very nice addition for this park. Almost at our number of people that we need. Right now we're just losing people. Uh, I think all these people are going away because they have no cash left. Yeah, that guy literally spent every cent he had. Yeah, the peeps are spending money left and right, which is exactly what we want. Right, so how long is it right? So I didn't even look at this. So it's uh, a minute and 32 seconds. Okay, so that's not bad. Your max waiting time in the station needs to be like 24, 22 seconds. Then hopefully we'll be able to max that out. Uh, we took, did take out a loan for that ride. Um, so we pay back most of that loan. We'll do free rides on Oasis. eight weeks and that should be game over we need 75 more people uh, you can see most people again leaving don't have much cash left yeah i got 90 cents left but we do need to refill a lot of the stuff you can see most people are not actually on the pass the paths are fairly clear almost everybody's in line for the rides themselves um, this is the our only real problem area for the most part so that's a interesting little thing that we got to get solved so maybe i'll close this and put it back over here so we can open that back up. And maybe we'll put on some additional food area or seating areas in some of these spots. No, not that one. Chairs. There we go. Goodness gracious. Look at these lines. What is this ride making us now? Yep, that's good money. That's good money. I think this is the first one there. It's, yeah, it's starting to suffer a little bit by uh, people, but that's fine. What's the popularity of this ride? It can't be 100. 
yeah, see, the popularity is way down uh, because the stats are way higher than all of the other rides, but I'm okay with that. Another gentle ride on the way. Beautiful. Let's speed the game up here because we should be pretty close to winning conditions here. And, uh, well, we're in year two already. Awesome. Usually we go with year one, but uh, not this one, which is fine. Spent more time on this park taking care of some of the basic stuff that you want to see in a park. And uh, I would like to get back to the original loan amount soon. Which looks like it should not have to be a problem. Especially as we have three coasters which uh, have lots of availability on them. And are uh, making us some money. Like even all of this, it's a five minute wait. Like it's not bad at all. Go ahead, go back down normal speed. Yeah, we got a Ferris with a spiral slide coming, okay. Again, I like rides like that because they can fit in really tiny little pockets and like a spiral slide will fit perfectly in this area. You can put the entrance or the exit over here, entrance back here and have it loop around and it looks like it was designed to be in that park. Um, I'm really happy also with the spacing of all this stuff. Like this ride is spaced out, uh, it's doing its thing. We have a train loading a train on the lift, and a train that will soon be entering the block. There's our spiral slide. So we got that. Open up that. And man, oh man, the park is coming along. Well, let's go into theming here real fast. Can we put... Oh, wow, those are enormous. I didn't realize how big those were. There we go. There we go. And again, there's a little work that needs to be done on this, but it's not bad. The ride time is going up, so I'm going to throw an entertainer in there. The looper has broken down. That's a bummer. And then we'll also add some TVs and stuff in there. That should keep everybody happy. Nobody's complaining about the ride time or the length quite yet, but it's, it's creeping up. If we had the four crawl seating, that would be great. Looper's already fixed. Awesome. We just need a few more guests. We're getting close. And again, all of our guests are going home with no money. So we've done our job in capturing their cash. Uh, eventually, if I were going to play this longer term, I would probably buy up some land here, bring this out up and back over to there just so we have another loop kind of like we have uh, this pathway going out but there's a loop in here uh, which is allowing us to cycle people through in a different way than just having just one main path for everything or kind of like an l shape because right now we have this path coming from here it goes to the entrance then another one going up having this little loop is a nice relief especially having a couple of rides off it is a nice relief and then theoretically if we had this other one built in we'd have other rides over here that are based off of that, that will relieve pressure off the main paths. Um, but nothing that we have to worry about for this one because I think we're in good shape here. Uh, we need six more guests and we'll have met the winning conditions for this. We have a roller coaster on the way and we still have more stuff available to us, which is fascinating to me. So uh, the only ride we haven't built, we have all of these. Well, we don't have all of these, but again, why is the, oh. I built the compact one. I didn't realize that we could get the inverted coaster. I could, I should have just done that. This thing would have been a monster, uh, but I'm not worried about that right now. Um, we're doing just fine as is. And you can see we're making money. I don't know how we're making as much money as we have over time, but we have. And uh, we're at our thousand guests. So anytime now, there it is. We've won. We have this park captured. And uh, we have company value of almost $190,000. We've met our objectives, and that's all there is to it. Folks, thanks for joining me for another Rollercoaster Tycoon. We'll be back next time with another challenging park. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.